A San Diego local philanthropist who came from humble beginnings could be considered a modern day Santa Claus. He's a man that gives gifts of hope, solutions and opportunity, whether it's loaning credit to people down on their luck or donating a billion dollars to charities and medical advancements. This awe inspiring visionary is changing and saving lives and the kicker folks, he plans on giving it all away when he dies. Denny Samford, a San Diego local philanthropist who came from humble beginnings, could be considered a modern day Santa Claus. He's a man that gives gifts of hope, solutions, and opportunity. Whether it's loaning credit to people down on their luck or donating a billion dollars to charities and medical advancements, this awe-inspiring visionary is changing and saving lives. Most of my philanthropy is, is designed with a purpose. His purpose is to invest his fortune in ways that will truly change our future for the better. And he believes stem cell research is one of the ways to do just that. I was introduced to it because I have a major impact on children's health up in South Dakota. They heard about that. They came to me and said, look, we'd like to uh, start a children's health organization uh, development program here. And would you help us? Indeed, he helped. He helped in innovative ways never seen before. He created the Sanford Burnham Consortium, a collaboration of scientists from UC San Diego, the Sanford Burnham Medical Research Institute, the Salk Institute, the Scripps Research Institute, and the La Jolla Institute for Allergy and Immunology. The entire world is noticing this because no one else has done it. I built the building so that they could all collaborate and and coordinate all the efforts and why duplicate or replicate what everyone else is doing. What Denny understands is we need to do a lot more of that in the cancer stem cell field, but also apply this to neurodegenerative disorders, diabetes, and these other diseases that wreak havoc on people by slowly degrading their bodies. So that's something that I think he's been incredibly generous about, understanding the pain and suffering that people go through and putting his money where his mouth is and saying so individuals can make a difference and he's going to change the world in one place, so we, he's given us a chance to at least try, and that's something we're going to do together. We're gonna to have some major breakthroughs, and it's gonna all happen right here in San Diego. His generous contributions have greatly helped the medical community, but you might be surprised to learn what he's most passionate about. My biggest cause, of course, is, as I've explained to you in the past, is to reduce the divorce rate, and also to improve the graduation rate in high schools. So those are my two biggest programs. The Sanford Harmony program to re reduce divorce and my Sanford Inspiration program to get kids believing in themselves so that they can graduate and do something with their lives. The Harmony Project focuses on having genders learn to better understand each other, starting from a very early age, and hopes to lower the divorce rate. It's a social engineering project, if you will. We are wired different. I mean, dramatically wired uh, different. So boys and, un and girls should understand that about one another and respect it and trust w in, in one another. But they have to do that at a much earlier age by spending more time together. And his other love, his Inspiration Project. The Inspire Program, give them a, someone to believe in them and get them to believe in themselves so that they can go ahead and graduate from high school, maybe even you know, go, go through college and like to, to be something, make something of their of their life as opposed to becoming a uh, drug dealer or you know, something of that, of that order. I see so many needs of children that are not met. And you know, I started my philanthropy originally with abused kids mm -hmm. and I support an organization that was, we've got 135 full-time live-in abused kids that have been removed from their families because, because of you know, sexual, physical, emotional abuse. And I just can't stand it. I you know, spent some time with these kids and they're just, they're, they're ruined. And some of them are you know, irrecoverable. I mean, it's just not, uh, it's not the, the way life should be and they're taken advantage of. Denny attributes much of his success from teachers who inspired him when he was young. And he wants to share that experience with all children. Mrs. Loring in the third grade, I mean, she said, Denny, you have some unusual characteristics that they're gonna make you successful. But you have to work at it. You have to work at it. Mrs. Taft in the 
in the fifth grade, the same thing. She recognized a little spark in my eye or twinkle or, or something like that, that, that whoop, wait a second, you can do it? And, and, that, and they were a good start for me. So what were his special traits that helped make him who he is today? Attitude, not aptitude, that determines your altitude in life. That's the whole deal. So where does all this passion for children and humanity come from? Perhaps it stems from Denny growing up without a mother. His mother, Edith, lost her battle with breast cancer when he was only four years old. Thus, his father had Denny working at his company from the time he was eight. He had me working in his warehouse at age eight. Yeah? <laughs> I didn't have a lot of time for sports and so on and so forth, but I think it paid off at the end of the day. He said, Dad, Denny, it'll work. It'll work. Believe me, it'll work out. And I think it has. Sadly, Denny's father died from heart disease when Denny was only 21 years old. Soon after, he started his first company. Denny used his adversity to his advantage. He learned impeccable work ethic, independence, and responsibility. Even though Denny first retired at age 43, he didn't make over a billion dollars until he got involved in a business venture to help a friend in the banking industry. That good deed paid back big time. Perhaps karma has something to do with it. We're not just issuing credit cards to, to people, we're issuing a uh, lifeline to people that have had a credit problem. We all know a, a lot of them. To get into a rut, uh, either divorce or, or uh, loss of job or health issues yeah. and the like. Yeah. And that's where we shine. We give them a, a short lifeline to re reestablish themselves and move forward. Did this humble man ever think his life would turn out like this? Never, never. And it, it, but the programs that I've gotten into were not to make money, they were to solve a problem, or the, the why as opposed to the how. Uh, money was never my, my, my primary goal. So how much money has he given? I just, I just went over a billion. Yeah. And that, that was a number that I, I couldn't conceive. Yeah. I mean, that's cash out. Yeah. That, is that your personal money? Yeah, that's all my personal money. Right, yeah, it's okay. I can't even fathom what that looks like. I, I, I just enjoy it. I mean, I, I make it. That's my purpose. I will die broke. It's all planned. You know? I've picked the, the causes that I believe in, and I have no problem in doing that. Myself. Well, you have to live a long time to die broke, buddy. Those <laughs> well, stem cells are going uh, to postpone me. Life is good. Life is really good. Denny calls himself the oldest teenager. That man has the best attitude and more energy than most people I know. In fact, he spends his free time entertaining, golfing, and traveling the world. And folks, keep your eyes on San Diego's waterfront. He has great plans on making it more interesting and giving us some world recognition.